The Garden City Aces struck gold twice at the Provincial Ringette Championships recently. First, the U19 team beating the Lorette Royals 6-3, followed by the U16 team beating the Portage La Prairie Thunder 5-2. I think that we all bought into the same philosophy, how it's not about one certain player scoring all our goals. Our game sheet shows out that it's a bunch of girls contributing. Um, I think just we all like really believe in each other and trust in each other, and I think that's what keeps us going. At the start of the year, the Garden City Aces U19 squad wasn't the most familiar, but as Amanda explains, the team chemistry slowly evolved into a winning formula. Um, in the beginning, it was a little separated because we did amalgamate. We had about seven of our core girls that we have every year, and that doesn't stray far from that, but we had four girls came from, come from Transcona, and personally, I got to play with two of them my very first year of Ringette, way back when. So there's a couple of familiar faces, but these are girls that we usually play game so it was a little bit a little rocky at the beginning but once we all started getting to talking and getting to play on the ice and feeling getting a better feel for each other we all just flowed really well and had the same philosophy and goal at the end. Amanda's father and head coach Joe Cabral preached a very simple and positive message to both of his Garden City Aces teams it's not about you it's not about me it's about us. We did what's best for our team, not like separately. Like when someone scores, it's not who scored. We all scored at, like as a team together. Like we're really good that way. Like we know that it's with everybody. It's not a one-person team. It's everybody. The Portage La Prairie Thunder actually defeated the U16 Garden City Aces team in the city championships. So without a doubt, the Aces had plenty of motivation going in to the provincials. We really like. We, I guess we wanted to prove to them and like and ourselves that we could do it, and we weren't going to give up. We were going to work hard, and we we're going to get the gold. Aside from the adrenaline rush and competitiveness that comes with Ringette, it's the friendships formed on the teams that gets these girls persuading others to play the sport. Don't think about it; just do it, and you'll make some great friends on Ringette teams. I've been playing Ringette for six years, and for me, what I really like is the speed of the game. And I like the challenge. It's never too late. Um, I started at 11 skating for the first time, which is very late. A lot of girls started four or five. So coming in at 11, I was a little bit behind at first, but now I'm the captain of a provincial team, so it's never too late. For Shaw TV Sports, I'm Mike Valente.